Hi, I'm Kendra Richards, professional makeup artist. Today I'm going to show you how to reduce redness and hide blemishes. The three things to remember are choosing a color that has enough yellow to cancel out the redness, to get a texture that you can really work with, and about the proper placement. And I like to use Maki Complet in Corrector by Lancome. Now when you have redness, a couple of spots like Jamie has, you want to select a concealer that has a little bit of a yellow tint to it that will really help color correct. I like to just dab on the slightest bit of concealer only where I need it and then just tap it into place. You can always build that if you need to, but it's better to start out with the lightest bit of concealer for the most natural effect. So I'm really just coming in and addressing the spots on Jamie's face where she needs it. I'm not using a color corrector over her entire face. It's not necessary. When I'm correcting redness, I'm just going in at those few little spots where she has a little bit of redness, a little bit on her cheek here. Oftentimes people have it right around the nose as well. Sometimes some broken capillaries. It's nice to correct there. An applicator like this is also really helpful when you're using it just to get the placement exactly where you need it. It's a little more precise than your fingers and then you can use your fingers like I'm doing to tap that into place. There we go. Jamie's got a little bit of redness on the top of her nose. I'm also going to just add a couple of dots and then as you see I'm sort of stippling with my finger to get the most natural effect. This way you still see the skin coming through, but it's just addressing a little bit of that redness. The texture of this is also very helpful in the blending of the concealer. If you get something that's a little bit too thick, it's very hard to, to distribute on the skin. So you want something that's creamy enough like this, which you can apply and then just tap right into place and it looks the most natural. Now another spot to really look at, the inside of the eyes. Because that skin is so delicate, it's often so translucent and you're seeing that redness, maybe a little blueness sort of coming through. You can just tap this in. Again, build it only as needed. So another thing to bear in mind when you're going in and correcting some redness, say in the eye area, you want to tap in a little bit on the upper eye area as well because as you're starting to get the redness down on the top of the eye area it's going to change the way the whole face looks so I've tapped that in on her on her upper lid go ahead and open wow that has made such a difference that's an important thing to remember when you're concealing around your eyes make sure that you conceal your eyelid um, discoloration as well you can see the difference between the eye that I've done and haven't done if you have some diffused redness on your cheeks you can do a subtle correcting of that color by placing just a little bit of the concealer on the areas that you need it and then stippling with your finger like I'm doing. It's a more natural way to diffuse that redness without piling on a bunch of concealer. And all those small broken capillaries that are, tend to be found around the nose can use a little bit of concealer like this as well to help reduce the redness. And you can see that I'm just putting a little bit on her nose and then using my finger to stipple the rest of it around. This gives the most natural finish. If you feel like you're getting a little bit too much coverage with one finger, use a different finger that's clean, has no concealer on it. You can use that to help tap it into the skin. There we go. And again, you can just go in in layers as needed to get the kind of coverage that you need with the most natural finish. And this pointed brush is a perfect way to get into areas like the corners of the nose, the eyes, and the outer corners of the eyes. So there you see, I've covered some red spots that Jamie had on her forehead, took care of some of the discoloration around her nose, under her eyes, and on her eyelids evens out her complexion. This is a perfect way to even out your skin tone and have a flawless complexion. And there you go. That's how to reduce redness and hide blemishes. I'm Kendra Richards. Thanks for watching.